The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX and also the uh, FTSE from London. You can see both of those charts look uh, very similar with the DAX being slightly weaker uh, than the FTSE, at least on these smaller uh, charts. And the reason why I put these up, folks, these are the ones that are tradable. These others with these huge swings are uh, pretty difficult. Now, we've had a request to take a look at the GDX, which is the uh, gold silver miners. I'll get this up here and we can take a quick look at it up here. One second, get it running here. And uh, here we go. This is the ETF for the gold, silver miners. And you'll notice we had that huge drop where we went up, made a high at 32, dropped in half all the way down to $16, which was right at a 78% level. Um, that's when the stock market was uh, collapsing, and that's when gold was down there at around the uh, 15, uh, no, 14.75 level. And of course, gold has had a $300 rally, and this has uh, actually had a rally almost making new highs. But what I thought we should do, since this gold-silver index is an ETF, is to look at the underlying stock behind the uh, uh, professor, uh, pr <laughs> hardly. Let's take a look here at uh, go uh, Newmont Mining. This is the big daddy rabbit in the, uh, in the mining business. It replaced uh, Barrick. Uh, you'll notice here that we've had several patterns up here around this uh, 58 level. But if you look at the smaller pattern that was in there where we had the 382 retracement there, that was right around April 1st. And then the market exploded and went up and it completed that objective so far. Now, I have been watching the open interest uh, very closely in gold and silver. It's not bringing in a whole lot of buyers, but... The last, uh, this last day that we had this run up with a $30 higher high in gold, uh, I thought 40, uh, 1745 was going to be the high, and we went up to uh, 1785 last night, and we might go a lot higher. That's certainly possible. And then uh, the uh, high in the silver, see, silver made a higher high than it did last week. It made a higher high by one and a half cents at the 61% retracement. So until silver can clear, clear above 1630, uh, I have to say that I'm waiting for something to uh, see some type of a sell-off in here. Something's, something is, one of these two markets is not right, either the stock market or the gold market, because they don't run like this together. But hey, this is interesting times to, to say the least. So we'll have to pay uh, very, very close attention to it. So we'll watch that one closely. Now, what I wanted to do was to uh, bring this up and show you a chart here on the E-mini S&P that I sent out last night. Uh, with a little notation here. You'll notice here that we are above the 61% retracement this morning, folks. Uh, that sets up this ABCD pattern. It could hit either at 2870 or uh, 2920, which would be the 78% level. I would have to go with the uh, 2870 if we get to there. So we'll see if that's the case or not. Remember, the Federal Reserve is throwing all the cannons. Well, they probably get even more cannons, but they're throwing a lot of things at these markets. So it's it's going to be real interesting to see. If this makes a new high, I will be very surprised, and it will be what we call in the trade the white swan movement for the old Pesavento household. So we'll watch this. This will always end well. That's correct. And even the junk bonds, we've, we've watched the junk bonds here. You can see here, I don't know if they, I didn't update it from yesterday, but here is where it was. Uh, I probably should do that at the break, Mike. Uh, you'll notice here that we did go up and hit that 78% level. And if we get above that, uh, that's amazing. But uh, that's either here or there. That's how it goes. You have to play the game that's built. Now, the, someone's asked a question is, uh, well, Jimmy's saying it's different this time. Yeah, well, the one thing that we know for sure, 
the longer term charts, uh, you know, they're ha they're having some really big gaps and stuff like that. But all of the smaller, the, the half hour and our hourly charts, these are all acting beautifully technically, folks. Every single one of them, from the gold to the euro, all of them, they're just uh, they're acting they're acting beautiful. So you know, that's where when I show you these charts, and what I'm watching is a 30 minute because you can control your risk on these at 30 minutes. You certainly can't do it on a daily basis, for heaven's sake. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's wild. And, uh, you know, who knows what's going on, but it's going to be really crazy. Again, um, the oil, uh, very simple, Mike, uh, the oil has a really uh, important pattern to watch today at 2050. I believe I did a, a uh, Mike, you should have got that video that I did on oil last night. That was a really good video. I got three or four people that that uh, really liked that. But let's let's walk through the oil here for just a second here. And uh, I'll see if I can get it up here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at oil right now. Let's look at this. We'll get the old hourly up here. And yeah, here's here's my old two cents worth. And uh We'll get it up here. And this is now this is a shorter term. This is just an hourly chart, but this will give you a really good idea of uh, what I think is going to be happening with the oil. Now, you'll notice uh, we've had a, a supposedly a deal made by the dudes over in um, Saudi Arabia, Russia, Iran, and the United States. If you believe any of that, I still have uh, two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge available, but uh, it looks to me like we're going to get somewhere between 2060 and 2040 uh, on the oil. And remember the old low that we made back there uh, not too long ago was down there at uh, 1975. So below that 1975, and here's the here's the key, and this is where I think it's going because it's not reacting well to to news. And we'll get this up here for just a minute, and uh, we'll see what's going on here. <laughs> so they they might uh, they never cheat, but they never tell you the truth. You can see here there's a potential for a three drive bottom uh, down here at uh, the $14 a barrel level, which is still higher than we were in um, 1999 when we got to $11 a barrel. Just uh, I don't think we hit. I think 1102 or something was the uh, was the absolute low in that. So that's what I think is happening in oil now. I you know like I mentioned and I don't something's wrong. Is my data messed up again? Are you shut the front door? Don't do this to me. Oh, shucks. I'm, oh, this is not good. What's going on here? Well, I, I tell you, I, every day I wake up, it's either one, one technical problem or another. I had a big email problem yesterday, and now my data, I just looked here five minutes ago, it just shut down, and I'm getting internet connection and everything, but the data into both of my sources is out. Oh, this is not good. I don't like this. And here it is getting ready for the opening. So we'll have to see what we can do about that. But that's not good. Boy, oh, boy. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I do not understand what's going on there. So I can't do very much about it. Doggone it. Ah, uh, shucks. All right. I'll move on here and get ready. we got a break coming up here. Maybe I'll reboot this thing and see if that'll work. I uh, don't like to start the day like this. This is not good. Oh, shucks. Okay, 877-927-6648 if you have any questions, and uh, we'll uh, see what's happened. I've got an interesting uh, tidbit from history that uh, might be interesting to some of you folks. I know it was interesting to me, so I'll certainly be able to, to look at that. So could someone type in the room, what is the last price on crude oil, please? If you could type that in, please, I'd like to double check to see how far it is off. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other Tigers and Tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to make an announcement here. You know, Basil's going to do his show here on the 15th on Wednesday. He's You have him all day, uh, seven hours, I believe. Uh, if you get a chance, you know, listen to him because, you know, you don't get someone at his level to spend a whole day with you with the knowledge that he has. And believe me, it's going to be worth uh, uh, every, every penny. So if you get a chance, that'd be a good way to spend your tax refund, and it'd probably pay big, big dividends. Now we're going to go down history lane, memory lane here, folks. I want to, someone's asked me about some of my most memorable things that ever happened in the market. And here's what we're going to be looking at. You'll notice here, this is a soybean chart going back to from 1970. You little see the little red uh, thing there. That's 1988, folks. You'll notice here that uh, the market had a little bit of a rally, a nice little pullback, and then it had a move from 550 up to $10, $4.50 in beans, uh, basically straight up. But I'll tell you the story behind this. If you'll uh, look at that, you'll see um, this was 1988, and so I was doing the Astro Cycles newsletter, and I had a hotline where I updated it every, every day. And I remember it was a Friday, and we had been long beans. We had about a dollar profit in them. Uh, I had bought some way out of the money call options that were starting to move in the right direction. And I got on the the um, the, the horn that day, uh, giving my uh, uh, onto the recording, and I said, "Boys and girls, I said if the beans close uh, anywhere near, um, I forget what the price was. I think it was 580 or something like that. It was under six dollars, which would have been up 20 cents on the day. I said, uh, the higher the better. I said, but if they close up in here, I said they might not trade for a couple days, and by golly, that's exactly what happened. And about oh three or four weeks later. I'm sitting there and uh, in my office there. This was before we moved up on the top of the hill there in uh, Pismo Beach. I was still down at the uh, the apartment there on the on the water in Shell Beach. And um, the, the UPS guy came and he's got this little cart and he's got this case of Dom Perignon champagne. And I said, what the heck? And it had a little card and it was from uh, Gene Siementhal, who was a farmer in Iowa. And he said, thanks for the beans. And I said, what do you mean? Thanks for the beans. And so I 
I called him up and I said, uh, Gene, I said, what the hell are you talking? What did you send me a case of uh, DP for? He said, man, he said, you know, you said if the beans went higher, they were going to go limit up. And he said, I just loaded the boat. I said, oh, my gosh. I said, that wasn't a buy signal. I said, that was a comment. <laughs> and so anyway, it, uh, it, it turned out to be pretty good. And that was, uh, that was the move that allowed my daughter to, to go to one of the better schools back east. And anyway, the, the, the other part of this was I had been working day and night since 1986, in August of 86, when I started doing the book, and I really needed a break. And so I was invited to go to Zurich, Switzerland, to speak to some bankers about my book. Book, uh, you know, uh, Astro Cycles, a Trader's Viewpoint. So I was going to work that into a, a two or three week vacation. I wanted to go to Italy to see uh, where my grandparents uh, were born. And I wanted to go to Rome and visit a Dr. Uh, Estelle, who is my teacher and uh, at uh, Terre Haute, Bishop Schulte in Spanish, and she was now running parts of the Vatican vault. And so I started, to, I planned that whole trip. And so I went to Zurich and I gave a speech to the to bankers. It was supposed to be a two day speak. The, uh, they thought it was one day, so I ended up being there for two days. But that it turned out to be pretty good because they paid me for both days and they paid me, you know, a lot of money. It was 10 grand for one day, which was pretty good. So I made two grand, a ten, a 20,000. Swiss bankers had a lot of money, folks. That's why. But that was a lot of money back in 1988. So I was bucks up and really having a good time. But in that in that room there with the bankers were two of the younger bankers were from Passau, West Germany, which is in the Bavarian Alps uh, right before uh, you get into Austria. And uh, it's where uh, it's about 20. It's about 20 miles from where they filmed um the Sound of Music. That that was in uh, uh, Sch Sch Scharding, I believe, um, was the name of the little town in Austria where that was filmed. So um, I those two gentlemen were in there, and uh, they really liked what I had. Uh, we went out to dinner two nights, Saturday and Sunday, and then I took the Orient Express from Zurich all the way down into Florence, and I got in around, oh, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I was staying at this uh, little quaint hotel that was run by a Russian immigrant, a really nice fellow, and uh, so I stayed there for four or five days, and then I went into Rome, where I visited Dr. Uh, or Sister Estelle. She was a doctor, of course, but she was running the Vatican vaults, and I spent the whole day with her. She was only allowed to go to level five, and she said that there were 13 levels. Uh, I believe she said below. This was all below the Vatican folks on an elevator, much like what you saw in the in the Da Vinci Code. And uh, she would tell me some of the things that were going on. And it was uh, it was really very interesting. And while I was there, I, I had a phone call. I checked my messages and it was from the, the two guys, Mark Link and uh, Marcus Nix. And they invited me to go after I left uh, Rome to go to back to Frankfurt and give a seminar. And we were with this now we're just about in the right around the second or third March, second or third of March, I believe. And so I uh, was going to pick up another five grand by giving that speech. And so I went to Frankfurt and gave the speech and everything went OK. And uh, then the uh, the two gentlemen said to me after the end of this, uh, at the end of the seminar, which was on a Saturday, they said, well, we quit our jobs at the bank and we're going to be professional traders. I said, why did you quit your job? Well, we like what you do. I said, you got to be joking. These are young guys. They're 24, 25. And so they said, look, we want want you to come to Passau, uh, uh, where we live. Yeah, it's in the Bavarian Alps, and we'll, we'll trade together for two weeks, and we will split the profits. And um, and they told me they had a $2 million account. And I said, uh, you know, I said, I can make some money off of $2 million in a couple of weeks. So we went there, and the Passau is, uh, my gosh, folks, it's one of the most idyllic places you'll ever see. P-A-S-S-A-U, if you go look at it, it's where the three rivers meet, I believe. It's the Danube, and then it's the, uh, the uh, what is it, the other one is called the N River. I can't remember the third one. It starts with a T, I think. Anyway, but if you Google it, you'll see uh, how beautiful the place is. It's, it's really quite nice. And so... Uh, and we traded there for uh, two. I, I traded with them for two weeks, and uh, it was uh, we did very well. I ended up making oh, I think I made about fifteen grand. Uh, we split the profit, so we made about thirty grand on two million dollars in that, that two-week period. And uh, after they finished that, they said we'd like to come to. Uh, 
to Pismo Beach and spend a month or two with you. And I said, well, I, I don't really want to do that. Well, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. And so they came to uh, the Pismo Beach. And that was one of the reasons why I got the house on top of the hill, uh, because they were coming and I needed a place for them to stay. And uh, Dr. Gordon was able to, uh, you know, make me a great deal in the house. So uh, we had a place for him to stay. And they stayed with us for several months. And I'll finish the rest of the story as we uh, come to the break here. And then we'll move on to the next one and we'll see what happens. But one of the things that was happening is it, it would extend it past their visa. And so what we had to do was to extend their visa, which was nearly impossible to do. But Jay Cross, my good buddy, went to school with Trent Lott, Speaker of the House. He called Trent Lott. And in two days, they had their extended visa delivered to them personally there in Pismo Beach. So if you think BS walks and power talks, you're wrong. All right, let's get back to business. 877-927. Seven six six four eight. Larry Pezzavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, I want to finish the story of the trip to Passau, West Germany. I stayed at the hotel there, which was a glass museum. 
Uh, it's over 150 years old, and they you know, blown glass. It was just really a spectacular place. And then I would get up in the morning, and I would walk about a half a mile across the the, the old stone bridge there over the Danube that the Roman soldiers had walked across. And there was a sports club there. It's just really state of the art, like nothing you've ever seen. It had everything you could possibly imagine. It was really spectacular. It had just opened, and uh, the people that stayed at the hotel had a pass, and so I went over there, you know, to you know, do my usual uh, Ironman competition stuff in the morning, and then I would uh, go on and then trade the rest of the day. Uh, if you believe half of that, you're probably pretty close. But uh, I have to tell you my experience. The first day, I did my usual workout, and I it was in the morning, so there was hardly anybody there. Most everybody was in school, so I got ready and then I went into the men's locker room and everything, and I went in to take a shower, and I'm in there taking a shower, and all of a sudden I hear this giggling. And in comes four little high school girls, and they're naked, getting ready to take a shower. And I said, "Oh my God, I've gone into the wrong shower." And I said, "I didn't, you know." I I said, "Excuse me," and and they were speaking German, so I didn't didn't know what was happening. So I. I went back into the, the men's locker room, and there was a, a nice fellow, a Japanese fellow there. He was a doctor, and uh, he was laughing. He said, you, you didn't expect that, did you? And I said, no. He said, well, uh, over here, the nudity is just uh, normal. It's not really anything. Well, and when I was in that shower, I was thinking, oh, my God, here come the police. I'm going to be arrested. Well, folks, if you think taking showers three times a day for two weeks doesn't make you pruney, you better think of something different. Okay, let's move on to something else. Just talk about trading here for just a second, folks. I want to show you the euro. Now, this is a uh, this is a daily chart. Let's get it up here. This is a daily chart here. You'll see here that. Uh, Yes, the girls did ask me for my phone number, but I, I wouldn't give it to them. Anyway, you'll notice here, the, the, we've been in a downtrend. We had that huge move in the euro. This was all related to the stock market, and we've been in this really tight trading range now. We're up about this 109. We're up about that 109. We're almost ready to make another 61% retracement up here at 110 and change. That would be a, uh, a 135 pattern. But, folks, look at the nice swings that you have here. I mean, there's nothing, nothing really dramatic other than that. That big straight up move that was coming off of the 127 at 10750. And, uh, you know, we rallied up to 109, came all the way back down to 106. So we're bouncing around in here. So if you're looking for something to trade, look at the euro. My goodness, it, it's, uh, it won't get you, it won't give you a heart attack. Now, I know you're having great. Uh, great uh, swings here on some of these things, and I think that's super, but most of you, uh, you are not able to take advantage of it, especially since they've raised the margin. You know, they basically doubled the margin on you on the uh, E-minis, the S&Ps, and the NASDAQ and the Russell, all of them have doubled. Uh, the only thing that hasn't jumped up a lot has been the bonds, and they're tradable too. I mean, they've they've done exactly you know what we were what we were thinking was going to happen. So that's neither here nor there. So I, I certainly hope that helps because uh, that's the things that you want to focus on are the things that you don't have to risk very much. That's the the real key. Don't be concerned on the return on your money. Be concerned on the return of your money. Okay, we got the market opening now. So what I want to do here is take a quick look and see what's happening. And I can give an idea of where the prices are going and stuff. Uh, wow, we had a heck of a move. We dropped 100 points in the Dow and came back 100 points just when I click the uh, – when I click the uh, the little button. So that's going to be a very interesting. Whoa, my goodness, it's really jumping around here. So we'll pay close attention. The silver uh, did make a newer high by one and a half cents. So we did get it up to uh, 112. And uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, what that is. And why is somebody calling me this time of the morning? That's not a good call. It must be a uh, crank call. No one ever calls at this time of the morning. Um, uh, crude oil, folks, the real critical level in crude oil I posted just a little while ago comes in at uh, 2060. That's uh, 80 cents from where we are right now. So be be very, very careful there because uh, if it breaks below that, you know, the other low was at 1975. The agreement that they have about the, the dropping the barrels and all this other stuff is just uh, not very uh, – uh, functional, as they say in the trade. I just don't think you can supply or reduce supply like that because demand is just a part of it. I haven't put gas in my car in three weeks. 
Well, when you don't go anywhere, that's really easy. So uh, remember, that's very important. Someone's asked a key question about the uh, E-mini S&P. There are two key levels. Uh, one of them is at uh, 2830, and the other is at uh, and the other is at 2870. And then, of course, there's a bigger A, B, C, D level there, uh, a little bit lower. Boy, the, look at that. The Dow moves 150 points in uh, eight minutes. Boy, that's a uh, that's the kind of move you want. Trading with the trend. Buy low, sell high. That's the old key of uh, what you want to be uh, looking at. We'll take a look here at the bonds here for just a second because those have certainly been tradable. And we've been watching those because of the strong resistance that we had up here. But there's a really interesting uh, pattern. Oh, I, I've got it. I, I made that pattern uh, so you could see it. This is really important in the bonds, folks. I mean, remember, the bond market is much, much bigger than the uh, – than the uh, what you oh shucks I got the wrong price in boy this is what happens when you work all night just give me a second here the trend is your friend until it's not okay you notice here where it says 171 is a 382 that's a misprint folks it's supposed to be 177 uh, I don't think it had to be too much of a rocket scientist to figure I made a typo, typo error there but it's 177 is a 382 the remember folks it's taken since the 3rd all the way out to the 5th 14th here it's taken 11 days to make a 382 retracement so that's really not bearish I mean so you've got to pay very close attention to that even though I'm bearish the bonds and it's worked out pretty good. I mean, it's not acting as bearish. You'd expect to see a big move like we had between the 15th and the 18th of March, where they went from 182 down to 167. We're not doing that. So the Fed is pumping the pump, and you can't stand in front of it. So be very, very careful. Take your nickels and dimes and take your money in a little bit at a time and not risk very much. That's about the only thing that you can do. I think don't fight the Fed has been the... Uh, the call words of our good friend Shane Smolian, the wolf trader, and he certainly nailed the, the price of that. So we'll see uh, what's going on. Oh, Marty Zweig, what a what a super guy that was. He was uh, he was a real super super fellow. He had the nicest apartment in New York. I don't know if you folks uh, knew that or not, but uh, he had the penthouse above the uh, what was the name of that hotel. Oh, one of the old boutique hotels, he had the penthouse up there. It was the most expensive piece of property in uh, New York at that time. But I probably, you know, as many with these big high rises, it uh, jumped up quite a bit. I can't remember the name of that hotel. Oh, shucks. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. Okay. He was a regular guest at uh, uh, the Friday night show of Louis Rukeyser, which was really good. No, it wasn't the Hudson's or the Four Seasons. It start, It was a French hotel, as I recall. The Pierre. It was the Pierre. That's what it was. Yeah, it was the Pierre Hotel. You might Google it. You know, I, I remember it. I never I never was in it. I just saw pictures of it. So that's uh, that's what we're watching here. we got a break coming up pretty soon. Maybe it'll bail me out. Please, uh, the uh, try try laying off Al because I know the, the, the phone lines are lit up so if you try to get in hopefully you'll be able to make it. Sal's doing his very best to answer all of them. 877-927-6648 If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. 
The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're going to take a quick look here at the... Uh, Gold, and what I've done is I put the AI program over the top of it, so you can see that's the blue line. The red line is what happened during Europe, and uh, you can see we had a $20 swing up and down uh, in Europe, and now we're up, uh, we rallied about $15. So the key times to watch, folks, are at uh, coming coming right around 12 o'clock, and again around uh, 1:30. Uh, the last uh, three hours of trading, watch those two key levels because if it it starts down from there, that gives you a probability that's going to go a little bit lower, but has to be fitting perfectly. We might not make a new high at 1130, but the key time, because it has nothing to do with price. It's all related to time. It has nothing to do with price at all. It's a snapshot of what the vibrations are doing in time, and that's the main thing that you have to keep in mind of what we're watching. Now, someone's asked another question about the British pound. I'll get this up here in just a second so we can take a look at it, and we'll be able to uh, see what the British pound is doing. So give me one second here, and here we are. We're getting up into this area here. Hold on. Here we are up here. Remember to listen to uh, sign up for Basil's show on Wednesday. It'd be worth every penny of it. I can promise you that. We're almost at the 61% retracement here, folks, at uh, 125.75. I haven't checked it yet this morning, but uh, we should be very, very close to that 61% retracement. And then we're going to see if it really has any uh, legs that go any higher than that. But it's actually doing pretty well. Uh, the dollar is, uh, you know, still trading below its own high because the pound is rallying. I believe the pound is going to run in. Let's try it again, Larry. The euro is going to run into some resistance at that uh, 110 level, but that's uh, still a little bit early for that, and we'll watch it uh, closely. Also, we've had a question about the hogs. Folks, the problem with the hogs is the meat packers are closing down because of sickness in the employees. And pretty soon, not, it's not going to be long, and it's not going to be all over the country, but there's going to be shortages of meat. Uh, and that's because uh, the little piggies are not, uh, you know, <laughs> they're just not going to be growing them. And let me tell you, folks, in about when this thing's over and when people start going back to the restaurants and there's no meat and stuff, you just don't pull hogs, pigs and hogs out of the out of the air. You know, because it just, you know, it takes a, it takes a long time to make a, a, a pig, you know, and a hog, a, a pig and a cow. So that's it. Yeah, we'll we'll become very vegetarians. Yeah, I believe that when I uh, 
have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge, so we'll have to be able to season. Mr. Bill is saying we'll be open by Easter, uh, Easter of 2000 and, uh, and what, 2021. You're probably right, Bill. I'll have to go with that. I'm not so sure that what's going on in the world is uh, what's really happening. I just don't like to think about it, but uh, something's not right. You don't shut the world down, you know, just because— uh, you know, 100,000 people die or however many it's been. I mean, everybody, every death is important. But, you know, stop and think what's happened to people. Oh, let's not talk about that. Any questions that you might have, 877-927-6648. Now, I want to mention one other uh, commodity here that I think is important, and that is uh, I'm going to get you the – I want to bring the – well, I've already done that. Hold on just a second. I want to do the, where is it? Come on, Larry, give me a break here. Platinum, just a second here. With these precious metals doing this, the platinum has not moved uh, very much. We've had, we finally got above the 382 retracement by a little bit today, but uh, it's actually lagging badly. Remember, ouch, oh boy, does that hurt? Something's wrong with the old, uh, Oh, we got a call from Philadelphia. Mr. Z is on the phone. What's up, buddy? Good morning, Larry. Thanks for taking the call. I uh, just wanted to um, call in with a quick cameo regarding hogs. Yes, sir. Um, full disclosure, um, yesterday everything was lock limit down on cattle, on feeder cattle, and hogs, uh, for the reasons that you just mentioned, uh, with one exception, and that was the August hog contract. Uh, and for what it's worth, uh, full disclosure, I bought that contract, that August contract, when it came off limit down. And uh, I just wanted to call and alert you to this. Um, we have a slight bounce in April hogs. A little more of a bounce in June hogs and August hogs are up uh, almost 6% right here. Uh, as you rightly pointed out, with uh, slaughter, uh, slaughterhouses being shut down, at least a couple of them, uh, there will be a shortage at the retail level of pork soon. And uh, this is just, of course, very short-term decimating anybody who's in the business of actually growing the pigs because there's just fewer places to take your market-ready hogs, you know, to, to a packing plant. Um, this, my guess is that this situation relieves as we get into a potentially critical food shortage scenario if these things stay shut down. And um, that would lead, my guess would be that those late summer or early fall uh, live hog contracts would rise in price as the slaughterhouses open back up to, uh, you know, to produce more pork for retail. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, and as I'm looking at uh, the live cattle, the feeder cattle, and those uh, live hog futures, I'm looking uh, at each one of the uh, futures contracts going out six months in time because they're all, uh, or they have the potential of behaving entirely differently because of that dynamic I just mentioned. Okay. All right. That's what I'm hearing from Rich Anderson and also from Cy, that that's what the problem is. But you can imagine what the shortages are going to be a few months down the road, five, six months. I mean, I'm, I'm, the market will anticipate that, I'm sure. But uh, as far as the rest of the world going vegetarian, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Wasn't it uh, convenient that that uh, company backed by Gates and DiCaprio called Beyond Meat mm -hmm. actually did their IPO uh, spring a year ago? So. Uh, I'm I'm sure those people are uh, itching to uh, uh, to fill the void. <laughs> hey, John, thanks for calling in, my friend, and may God bless and stay safe, my friend. How's your mother doing, by the way? Uh, very good. Thank you for asking. Good, good, good. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. So, oh, we still have a little bit of time left. We got a caller, for, uh, Mike. Are you there? Yes, I am, Larry. What can I help you with, my friend? Yeah, Larry. Uh, um, some of the times on your show where you show the artificial intelligence, 
Um, I've been watching that, and there's a few times it's been very extremely accurate. So thanks a lot for showing that to us. The key, the key words there, a few times. Go ahead, Mike. What can I help you with? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I was wondering if you could post what your artificial intelligence is showing for the uh, e-mini for today. I, I already did that. I, I posted it uh, um, probably about 15 minutes ago. If you go into the den, you'll be able to see it uh, without too much okay. trouble. So it shouldn't be too bad. So are yeah, you in I'm Florida? Not, I'm not in the den, but uh, yeah, I, I, I missed it. I, I, I can only hear the audio. So, Well, if you drop me an email, I'll send it to you. All right. Well, thank Larry, you very much. Larry Pesavento at gmail.com. We'll take a break, folks. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the, uh, reposted the thing from the uh, E-mini S&P, and it looks like around 11 o'clock. It should be a very interesting time. Uh, should be a high or low. I also did the one on the silver, and uh, silver is due maybe right about now. We did take out those highs, 
Uh, the the 61% retracement on the daily chart was 16.11. We got to 16.20, uh, I believe, 16.19. So uh, it did take out that, it's not with a lot of power, but it's still early, and I certainly think we could uh, go higher yet. So we'll be able to see. I believe if this is a, a true move in gold, you're going to get a lot of chances to buy it, folks, because the open interest is just uh, it's just not telling you that it wants to go at this time. It might be later, but, uh, gee, there's just not a lot of that you we, we, you should have big increases in open interest coming in here and that's not uh, that's not the way the market is acting right now uh, someone's asked a question here about the euro I'll bring this up one more time and you you'll be able to see uh, what I'm talking about as far as the next 61% uh, retracement that we're waiting to see and we're not uh, close to it yet. It comes in around 110. We'll be able to see. Remember now, folks, we're in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven day rally here in the euro, and we haven't gone very far. That's not a good sign from the bullish standpoint. So uh, right around this 110 level is where I'm looking to uh, make a play uh, from the short side, because it's certainly acting a lot different than it was in February and March. It's just not moving uh, since the uh, the 6th of uh Eight days, seven days ago, in the uh, in the uh, euro. So that's another one that uh, really keep a close eye on at that 110 level. That should be really strong resistance. In addition to that, that's a 135 pattern. I'm going to do a special video on that tonight. Remember to try to listen to. Uh, don't, don't try. Just do it. Sign it up. Do it. Do yourself a favor. Take your tax refund money and uh, spend a little bit of it, uh, a little bit of it on the show where Basil Chapman. He's a real pro. He's been around a long time. Time. He's got more information than you'll ever absorb, and it's going to be recorded and archived for you, so you'll be able to absorb it. So I would highly recommend it. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.